Welcome guys, let's go to the server part of socket programming today. If you have directly landed on this tutorial, I strongly recommend you to go back and watch the previous tutorials in which I've dealt in with the theory of socket programming in quite a detail. Okay, so that was a disclaimer. Now let's go ahead and start a coding. First, for include these files over there in your program, I've already explained what does each of these files do and why we require it. Okay, so now let's write an error function first. The parameter of this error function will be a constant care star msg. In place of msg, you can write the name you like, maybe str, the standard one. I will write msg. Okay, in wide error function, we will write an p error function. A p error function is an inbuilt function which interprets the error number and outputs the outputs the error description by using stderr which is the standard error stream okay we will require this p error func error function in fact so that we can pass various strings at various points in our program when we would like a program to terminate okay so to terminate our program we will write the exit statement with parameter one that is true okay whenever we write our error function we require our program to terminate so that is the use of this error function now let's write our int main and as i've told you we are going to use the command line arguments let's write our parameters into arc c and character star arc v array okay so int arc c is the total number of parameters we are passing in our program there will be two parameters one will be the file name and second would be the port number so arc c will be two and character star arc v would contain the original parameters in this case it would contain the file name and our port number which we would be passing by command line so yeah if the user doesn't provide the port number we need to terminate the program and tell him bro you can't go ahead like that you need to provide your port number okay so let's check out so in order to do that we require our arc c to be 2 if the user doesn't provide any port number then arc c would be 1 so if this is the case then use the f print f and tell the user port number not provided program terminated backslash n leave a line just like that okay and to terminate the program we'll write exit one fine so now the user can't go ahead without providing the port number. He has to provide the port number in command line. Now let's write down what variables we require. We require an in sock fd, the file descriptor. After we create a socket function in server file, then we would require the new file descriptor. We will name it as new sock fd when the connection is established after the after function. And we will require the port number. Our port number would obviously be in integers. After that, we require something which goes like this: shocklen underscore dot t cli len. Uh, fine. We will not go towards this right now. We will declare some other things, and then I will tell you what possibly what that is. Okay. and there is one more correction over here specify sd write std err comma port number okay so we are done with this and we would also require an n you will come to know why we require this n over here we'll require this for specific specific task we need to provide or to check whether the function is successful or it is resulted in a failure after that we would define character character buffer of size 
255, you can give the size you want. We will require this buffer to send our messages. First of all, we will store our messages in buffer and this buffer will be transferred in a data stream. And then we require a structure sock a t t r underscore in and we will require this for a server we'll name it server addr and one for the client we'll name it client addr so i've already explained what sock addr underscore in is and from which file do we get it and as the length of client addr we will write just what we have written a few seconds ago so plan t ply len so sock len underscore t is a data type in socket.h and it is a 32 bit data type and we require it for this why i don't know in detail if you are interested, go ahead and search it. And sock addr underscore in contains or gives us the internet address, and it is included in file netinet forward slash in dot h. <clears throat> okay, so we require the internet address of serve underscore addr, which is our server, and cli underscore addr, which is our client. And sock addr underscore in contains um sign underscore family sign underscore port so which all basically gives the information about the internet address of what we are referencing it to okay so get ahead and we will write down our code so let's write down our let's create the socket so we need the file descriptor to be stored in sock ft so soc ft equal to our socket function. The parameters will be af underscore everything in capital af underscore inet soc underscore stream comma zero default value which says it's TCP already done in our previous tutorial. Okay, now if sock ft is less than zero that means the socket function has resulted in a failure we need to generate this error error opening socket Okay, so we are generating this error. So now our socket has been created. Now let's write B0 function. So I've not told you what B0 actually does, but B0 clears any data or any text or anything it is in whatever it is a reference to. So here we are clearing the serve underscore address so that we are sure there is nothing in it and Whatever we write afterwards gives us the right data. So let's clear serve underscore address. The second parameter of this is size of size of obviously serve underscore ADTR as we are clearing it. Okay, so we are done with this. Now let me take this away. Now it is in the top half of my screen. Now let's get the port number. Have we defined the port number with the same thing? Okay, yeah, we have defined it with port number. Port number equal to ATOI. I already told you in previous tutorial that ATOI converts the string into integer. And from where we will get this? Arc V1. Remember that arc V contains the original commands line argument so arc v of 0 will contain the file name and arc v of 1 will contain the port number okay so now, now let's use sock addr underscore in and whatever is in it to get data for serve addr so now as a structure we will use the dot operator sign family equal to af 
underscore inet surf underscore addr dot sign underscore addr dot a structure of a structure this is s underscore addr which is equal to in addr underscore any and the last one so ADTR dot sign underscore port the information about the port H D O N S and it will have a parameter as a port number. So what H D O N S is host to network short. We also have H D O N L host to network long, but let's not get into it and write our further code. So as we know our flow, the next function is binding. So we use the bind function. The first parameter is the file descriptor soc ft, and now we require to typecast soc addr underscore in into soc addr. Remember, in last tutorial, I have told you that soc addr and soc addr underscore in are two different structures from two files. So we are typecasting it over here, and serve ADTR size of serve ADTR now where is the bind packet okay it is less than zero then we would have to use the error function write it down binding field if the function will fail it will return minus one remember that so we have come up to this point binding field so now it's a good idea to check your program because you're coding and coding and you don't want the errors to accumulate so let's check our program till now cd desktop gcc let's compile it first server dot c Hyphen O server. No errors. Pretty cool. So this was almost 75% of the code. In next tutorial, I will go in the rest uh, remaining part of this server code. So tune in and if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe guys. I'm putting a lot of effort. So this tutorial has gone a little lengthy. I will definitely complete the code in the next tutorial. Server part two. Okay. Tune in guys, we'll see you in the next tutorial. JJ here, goodbye.